Hey there. So uh, last week, Christian, aka Insignia, posted a bunch of really fascinating uh, images to his Facebook profile detailing overlaps between cat eyes and trichaetras in, uh, in soft transition form, right? And um, a lot of his diagrams kind of went into spots where, say, you would have four trichaetras all back to back, like so. But on a few of them, I noticed a really, really interesting phenomenon, namely that the hand pass for them, like say, in this pattern right here, are uh, a geometric idea called a vescopysis. Um, a vescopysis is a pair of circles that are, uh, I don't know if the term equilateral applies to circle, but essentially they're circles of the same size that overlap each other such to the point that uh, they each touch the midpoint of each other. And you wind up with this lovely little vertical space that's kind of oval-like between them, right? So, it got me to thinking about playing with uh, vescopysis overlaps with soft transitions, specifically with cat eyes and trichaetras. And here's what kind of came out of it. Um, if we start off with our cat eye, and we play around with the vescopysis to either side, then we have a pair of uh, trichaetras that point outward. Because the soft transition that we're working with here will be the two petals of the cat eye overlapping with two petals of each trichaetra, and the one remaining petal is going to be pointed outside, right? So we have one to the left, we have one to the right. If, on the other hand, we want to play with the vescopysis that overlaps vertically, that is, we've got a circle up here and a circle down here, all of a sudden the patterns of the trichaetras reverse themselves such that we have one trichaetra that points down and one trichaetra that points up, right? And these trichaetras have the opposite configuration, that is, they're overlapping with the cat eye in the in a single petal, while the other two are arranged pointing straight top or down. So, if we take this all together, both poi, and say we start out in split time, same direction, we we'll end up with a couple cool patterns, namely, when we go to the outsides, we wind up with a really, really funky pattern that looks like it's kind of splitting the difference between trichaetra and uh, cap. I think I've actually got a photograph of myself doing this last July in some place that I can post. But the other configuration will have us doing this. Vertically oriented, right? So with single poi, if we put that all together, we wind up with one to the side, one top, one to the side, one to the bottom, one to the side again, right? Put it together both hands, and we can go side, vertical, side, vertical, side, vertical, side, vertical. And all the while, we're playing around in hand path configurations that are based upon that, that vesicopisis geometry. So, yeah. I think it's cool. Um, I made up a bunch of diagrams explaining all this stuff and posted them to my Facebook, so I'll go ahead and post them to my website too at drexfactor.com. And you guys can come around and take a look and tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. Peace.